please subscribe to our channel and for latest update click on the bell icon hi children now let's work out some word problem in division word problems in division Okay, I'll write out the sums for you. All right, the first sum is fifteen sweets. Fifteen sweets were distributed. Distributed among three children. among three children the question is how many did each child get how many how many did each child get Okay, that's the first sum. Now another sum I have here is second sum says. A man bought a man bought man bought 860 eggs and placed them and placed and placed them in trays he placed 10 eggs he placed 10 eggs in each tray in each tray how many trays how many how many trays were needed how many trays were needed to place all the eggs we have two problems here all right two sums are given to you now first we'll read the problem we see what's the statement then we do the working okay now let's look at the first one 15 sweets were distributed among three children how many did each get so what will be the first statement total number of sweets that is total number of sweets is 15 All right. Now, first of all, we'll write all these numbers. Fifteen and three, and here ten and eight sixty. 
8, 60 and 10. Fine. So the first statement will be total number of sweets. That is 15. Then number of children. Then therefore number of sweets each child gets. So three statements. Okay. So what the first statement that we are going to write? Total number of sweets. Total number of sweets. The second statement is number of children. Number of children. And what will be the final statement? Therefore, number of sweets each child gets. Number of sweets each child gets. Okay. Now we do our column. Alright? What the number we have? We have to do division. So, total number of sweets is 15. Number of children? 3. Now we have to do division. So, that will be 15 divided by 3 and that will be our answer. 15 divided by 3. Now, 15, you have 15 divided by 3. You do it in the margin. Put the division sign. Alright? Now, the Divisor is big and the dividend there, the first number is small one. So we take the two numbers together and then we say the three times table. Three ones are three, three twos are six, three threes are nine, three fours are twelve, three fives are fifteen. So five into three is fifteen. Now, since the three is a small number, three is big number, one is small. You put on top of one zero before we take the two numbers together. So what did we say? Five times the five threes are fifteen. So three goes into five, fifteen, five times. Five threes are 15. So, minus 15. And what is the 5 take away? 5, 0, 1 take away. You get no remainder. So, what is your answer? 5. How many sweet? Number of sweet each child gets is 15 divided by 3 is 5. Each child gets how many? Each child gets 5 sweets. And that's your answer. Okay? Now we go to the next sum. What does it say? Let's read the problem. A man bought a man bought 860 eggs and placed them in trays. He placed 10 eggs in each tray. How many trays were needed to place all the 860 eggs. So, what will be the statement? Total number of eggs. What is the total number of eggs? 860. Then, number of eggs in one tray? 10. Therefore, number of trays needed. Huh? Number of trays required. So, let us write the first statement. Okay? Total number of eggs bought. Total 
number of eggs bought next number of eggs in one tray okay next is number of eggs in one tray finally number of trays required therefore number of trays required okay that will be 860 divided by 10 will give us the answer okay 860 divided by 10 will give us the answer now let's work it out let's put the box first Okay, now what is the total number of eggs bought? Eight hundred and sixty. Number of eggs in one tray is ten. Okay, now number of trays required. So now we are going to do the division. Okay, eight hundred and sixty divided by ten. All right, and we put the division sign. Okay. Now you have a divisor, double digit, ten. And now we are going to the dividend, ten. You cannot take eight, which is a small number. Therefore, on top of eight, you put zero because the Number is small. Now we are going to take the two numbers together. We are going to take eighty-six and the divisor ten. We want to see eighty-six. How many times ten will go? So ten into eight is eighty. Ten into eight, eight will go. Eight into ten is eighty. So you put minus. Eighty, eight times. So we have to put minus eighty, and then six minus zero is six. Eight take with eight is zero, but we have a zero left. Now you bring the zero down, put an arrow, and put zero. Ten will go into sixty. How many times? Six times. Six tens are sixty. So how many trays are needed? Eighty-six. Now before that, minus six into ten is sixty. Minus sixty. Sixty minus sixty zero. Zero minus zero zero. Six take away six zero. You get zero remained. That now, what is your answer? Your answer is eighty six. Eight hundred and sixty divided by ten is eighty six. Number of trays required is eighty six trays. What is your answer? Eighty six trays. Now, uh, number of total number of eggs bought eight hundred and sixty. Number of eggs in one tray is ten. Number of trays required is eighty-six. Okay. Now I said the divisor multiplied 
by the quotient. 86 into 10 is 860. Will give you the dividend. This is the dividend. The quotient into the divisor will give you the answer. Then you know, oh, my answer is right. Okay. So, 86 trays are needed to place 860 eggs. We learned to do word problems in division.